What's up? Good afternoon. Welcome to today's vlog. I'm having a hell of a time picking this winner for the goat shoe Yeezy giveaway. I don't know why it's so difficult for me. I should just scroll and pick randomly and maybe I'll do that, but I feel like I need to put more thought into it. I definitely need to make sure that whoever wins followed all the rules we set forward. But for some reason, I wanna give them to like somebody who like will really cherish them. And I'm sure everyone who left comments, we have over, I think 12,000 comments on that post. So I'm sure whoever wins them will cherish them, but we're gonna figure it out right now. I really feel like the only fair way to do this is scrolling down like this. So we've scrolled through all the comments. We've gone back, we've swiped up, we've swiped up. So now we can just scroll, 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 and randomly pick one. Um, I feel like that's really the only fair way to do it. Once I pick the winner, I'll check to make sure they actually follow me and follow GOAT. And then I will message them and ask them if they've downloaded the GOAT app or get their username, and then boom they will have a free pair of Yeezys, it's that easy. No, we do not rig the system and cheat it so somebody I know wins, that's not how we work here. Randomly scrolling and just picking. Big spin now, big spin, big spin, and... Who is that, Mac? Max Cakey. Max Cakey, all right, dude, let's check you out here. Did you just win? <laughs> Why are you crying? Because you just said the muffin eggs in my mom. Are you crying right now? These are real tears. That's so, me. <laughs> we just had an amber alert on our phones go off. And then Courtney's been like, babe, I'm gonna get stolen. And then I'm walking out of the house, she's like, babe, you don't care about who's gonna steal me? I'm like, who is going to steal you away? You know, she's freaking out, Amber Alerts. And what did you say? I said, the Muffin Man's going to steal me. And Steve said... The Muffin Man is in your bum. It's not funny! That's so horrible! That's, your bum looks so good! Can I just show why... I want to just show people why I said that. Can you stand up for a second? No. Please? Just up, down. This is stupid. Oh my gosh, that's an amazing bum, baby. So I just want to pinch it. So I'm saying, no. do you know the Muffin Man? <laughs> the Muffin Man? Yes, the Muffin Man. Stop. Yes, Steve, I know the Muffin I'm Man. I'm crying. But why? Guys, this is why you should never tell your girlfriend the Muffin Man is in your bum. <laughs> Apparently, that's the number one thing you shouldn't say to your girlfriend. No, you don't say that. Did I did I fail on this? Is this my fault, guys? The muffin man's in your bum. I just thought like this started with an amber. Most over. girls, <laughs> most <laughs> girls would love to have your booty. I didn't say look. See, like most girls are like, I have a muffin top, and I'm like, no, the muffin man is in your bum. No. Stop trying to make it better. Oh, that was too funny. I literally could. I was crying from tears. I was crying. I'm pretty much all done now. You're the cutest thing ever, though. You really I'm are. I'm just gonna hide. <laughs> because I said the mo- <laughs> Alright, turn it off! <laughs> oh, I'm such a jerk of a boyfriend, I think. Jerk. Oh, alright, I gotta go. Well, I definitely feel like a jerk. Guys, even if you think it's a compliment, sometimes it's not. Hopefully she's okay, I think she will be. Especially since she just, yeah, she just got me my birthday present. My birthday's on the 10th and it just showed up. Um, I know what it is, it's all of these amazing shoe containers. So from the crate store, you can get amazing shoe containers if you have sneakers. So we're gonna set up all of those today. We're heading over to the gym right now to meet with a new camera guy. The mirror should be getting installed today. I gotta stop and pick up a Gymshark package. I gotta work out, then, Oh, I have to buy two TVs for the gym. Lots of stuff for the gym. Big day ahead. And we're gonna try not to say anything else to make Courtney cry. Ready, go. At Fitness Culture, we're gonna go see what kind of progress they've been making on this lobby. Oh, it's beginning to look a lot like Fitness Culture. Oh, wow, look at all your guys' tools. Oh my gosh, so I played softball with these two last night. I pretty much was like King Griffey Jr. out there, except for the exact opposite. I literally missed probably five pop flies. Just overran them, underran, just dropped. I haven't played softball in five years. I don't want to talk about it. Get back to work, fellas! <laughs> Love you guys. They're out there moving. We're getting our mirrors. 
Oh, they're gonna be so mad at me. Court, I called you! Oh, they're not even talking to me. That's how mad they are. This is a mess right now. Gosh, I'm a jerk. I didn't know we were doing this right now. Are you still mad at me for what I said? What'd you do now? About the muffin man? The muffin man? What do we have over here? Oh my gosh, Mike, how are you? Good, how are you? Do you like Mike or Michael better? Mike. Mike is from XD here. We got some toys. These are Kevlar, Kevlar medicine balls. Babe, can you pick this one up that Jake has? I'm thinking we throw them though. Oh, that's too heavy to throw. I think it's heavier than throw it. Yeah. You throw it. So to toss it over your shoulder. That can't, that can't be thrown. Yeah, we can do these. Yeah. Remember we did those in Australia? I remember I did them with half Thor Bjornsson, and that was probably what gave me an L4, L5. Let me just do these. Jacked up back thing. Jake's making that look easy. Yeah. Jake's making that look like it's... Oh, it. Go, go, go! Jake said, literally Jake said the other day, I'm probably the best at moving in the world. And I probably agree. <laughs> like, I'm moving things. And I would, I would, like, he's agile. He's quick on his feet. And he can throw heavy things. Killer, killer Kevlar from XD. Okay. Thank you, guys. Oh, that's gnarly. What is this for? What can we do with this? This would be good for like even some core stuff too. We're gonna use that. Swing it. Good. Good form, Jacob. Good form. Gosh, I hate that shirt. Oh yeah, I think our mirrors just showed up. No more ugly green and blue wall. Time to get my swole on. Once the mirrors are here, I get I'm just gonna get bigger because I get I don't get as I get more more motivated. Uh huh. Oh my gosh. Wait, where are they going? Mirrors, where are you going? Come back, mirrors. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Mirror time. This place is already starting to look different. It's kind of looking messy. We're going to have to clean that up. I'm getting so freaking excited. All we got to do is get the rest of our equipment here. We got 160 pound dumbbells. We got freaking 125 pound med balls in here. We got all the new plates, the new racks coming. We're gonna get the artwork up there. We're gonna get the artwork up here. We're gonna get some Smith machine. And then this is gonna be functional fitness area over there. This is gonna be a rack, like a rig. Um, rope climbing stuff. Pegboard over there. Whew, cannot wait. It's all starting to come together. All right, while they are finishing or doing some stuff with the mirrors, we are gonna go run, Jacob and I. Uh, we are gonna go to run to Costco to get some televisions for our lobby and then also for the gym. So when people roll in, there is a workout, doesn't matter whether you're following the big program, the lean program, the power program, or the athlete program, your program is on the wall for the day. You can just have yourself a great workout. So two TVs, our sound system actually just got in today. So one of these days, we're gonna hook that up and, and jam out. Before we hit Costco though, we gotta grill. We gotta eat, big guys gotta eat. Here's where we're going. Little Caesars, not. Nah. We're actually going to Teriyaki Grill. This is only about 300 yards from our gym, and we give them a lot of business. All right, while we're waiting here, Jake's eating his food, I'm waiting for mine. I made a decision, and you guys can probably tell me what you think about it. I know you guys will, because YouTube always does, regardless of whether I ask or not. I've decided to get a motorcycle. It'll be something we put in the gym. It'll be a fitness culture bike. It'll be super cool looking. I've always kind of wanted a cafe racer. So this is what I want the end product to look look like. That is a Honda. Actually, that one might be a 550. Mine will be a 750, but I want all black leather accessories like that, like leather trimming, leather seats, all black, everything else. I'm having a guy in Ohio who builds custom bikes and then sends it to LA. He's building it for me. I'm going to pick it up in LA when I go out there for the fitness expo, and then we'll have it for the grand opening of fitness culture. The bike will be here. Just something to cruise around on here. You know, nothing on like the freeway. Something like to take out to like Zion's National Park and cruise. I didn't grow up riding motorcycles, so I'm a little bit nervous. Like, I'm not trying to be crazy on it or anything like that. I realized that it's not always about you, it's about other people. My stepdad was actually, he was a super cautious guy. Leathers, helmets, he was actually killed by a drunk driver. Oh yeah, this right here, 54 grams protein, 22 grams fat, and 60 grams carbs. 
extra chicken, shrimp, brown rice, and veggies. Bon appetit. Here we are. Costco time. All these TVs. Guys, I'll be doing this tomorrow. I'll be doing this right here tomorrow, here in town. That's actually in St. George behind me. It's the Red Bull Rampage. I'm super, super nervous for this. The guy I'm going with tomorrow is an absolute freak. All right, we're going with that one. Can you guys imagine, imagine Soldier Nation videos just on repeat? That's not a pretty good price too for a 65 inch screen TV. We're gonna get two of these. Could you, uh, in your best CrossFit technique, put that on there? <laughs> what would that be? I'd you have to kip to it. Tell like, me what that's like, kip it up? Like, snatch it. Yeah, yeah kip it. Cheat, it. cheat it on there. Good job, team. Goodness gracious. Whenever I get stuff, I feel like other people should get stuff too. I think we do need to do a $200 giveaway, a Gymshark giveaway on this video. I'm just doing a Gymshark giveaway, $200. Tell me what's your favorite video of all time and why. Go, I'll pick a random random person to give away. You have to be subscribed to me. You have to be subscribed to Fitness Culture on Instagram. Good luck. What an exciting day. With all that excitement, you forget, you still have to work out. Put in time for your workout. Everything's so exciting. And when everyone leaves, you still have to come in and work out. But the difference is, is now, we have these amazing freaking mirrors to work out in. Oh, Jake, look, I'm looking at you in the mirror. Oh, it's so fun. For the last four months, I've been able to look at myself while I've lifted. How the hell am I supposed to get any motivation out of that? Now that I can see myself when I'm lifting, school's out, man. I'm about to get to 300 pounds of solid muscle, Jake. No, I would look awful at 300 pounds. Start looking like me, I'll just box in meaty. <laughs> And the dude hates mirrors. I'm like, yo, oh, what's the point of having mirrors if we put stuff I don't in front hate of mirrors. them? What did you say was kind of weak? What did I say? You're like, we should put like a peck deck in front of here. I did. I wanted a peck deck right there. Why do you need right to watch there? your form during a peck deck? Why do you need to watch I don't want to watch my form. I want to watch my pecs. <laughs> That's exactly what you want. <laughs> oh. Gym douche in full effect. Why do you need to watch your biceps and bicep curls? Why does every gym put the dumbbells and the mirrors in the same place? Exactly. Today, it's chest day. Chest day and tricep day, duh. We got mirrors in here. We're gonna be able to stare at your pecs while you're doing pec deck. We're actually gonna start off with incline dumbbell. And since we have, what do we got in here, 150s? We're gonna mess around. We're gonna mess around with some 150s. Starting off with incline tonight, 14 to 18 reps, two seconds on the negative. So we're still keeping that eccentric high or a longer eccentric, I should say, um, while going heavy. 100 pounds, at least 14 to 18 reps, two seconds on the way down. <laughs> What's in there? The Muffin Man. That's 150s, man. It's a lot. Do you know what it was? You know what it was? You could see yourself in the mirror. What is what oh it was? my gosh, it was. I've never seen a CrossFitter do that much. I'm just saying that because the back of your shirt says CrossFit. Does it? Yeah, it does. I showed people today that at Costco. Gosh, you're an animal right now. All right. I'm going to go home and cram myself to sleep because Jake just bench pressed more than I could ever do on incline. Damn it! It's a lot. When Jake's not looking, I secretly jump in the 150s and I try them. Kind of like when you're a kid and your dad does something and then you try it. <laughs>
I'm really gonna try it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo! I got it in the corner! <laughs> you did the hardest part though, man. I know. That was good. Laying back, that's the challenge. Not if you can do it, if you can lay back with it. I don't know if you can actually rip it out. All right, guys, we're gonna finish our chest workout. Oh, you know I couldn't resist. Everyone else is gone. No Jake, no Jason. Just a crazy, sick chest pump. And I figured since we have mirrors, we're gonna take advantage of that now could be definitely a little bit leaner and have a little bit better of a tan but at least we have mirrors in this place now we're coming back at you two days if you guys subscribe subscribe